We're from Canada in the ring right now, and here with us at ringside, gonna tell us a little bit about this outstanding athlete, J.J. Dillon. Well, I want to take just a moment to say you look surprised to see James J. Dillon out here as if I'd be hiding and embarrassing because I've been caught with a little bit of egg on my face, but see the big difference is when it comes to Super Bowl, and both teams say they're gonna win, one team's got to say wait till next year and he's got to sit out for six months but the world of professional wrestling is 252 weeks out of the year and this is not over yet it may be next week it may be tomorrow it may be tonight but i don't want to steal the spotlight from one leo burke who's in the ring right now hey i've been watching the cards the wrestling arena is around under jim crockett promotions and it's like the who's who of professional wrestling and you'd say to yourself well who else could there possibly be well Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, who I have great respect for, shows up this week with Precious and Leo Burke, who's in the ring right now. Probably the greatest athlete that Canada has ever produced. Wrestling family, five brothers in the family, all professional wrestlers and all of great stature. Champions all over the world. And Leo Burke is generally regarded as probably the best of the five in the wrestling family. Former uh, international heavyweight champion former North American champion, and the name of Leo Burke is respected throughout Canada in particular, much like uh, Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard are everywhere else in the world. And you're just beginning to see the first part of what Leo Burke has to offer. Let me ask you this, because I know this is something that's coming to the mind of everybody out there. With Leo Burke now, did J.J. Dillon have anything to do with Leo Burke showing up? No, not really. I have an exclusive contract with Mr. Tully Blanchard, and I'm honored to that just as I'm committed to making him the next national heavyweight champion, which I'm just as convinced he will be. But I like to see the intensity of competition as high as it could possibly be. And when you have a gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, when you have a Leo Burke, when you have an Arn Anderson, a Ric Flair, a Tully Blanchard, so forth and so on, you know that you have the stiffest possible competition, and it reflects in the intensity in each and every match that you see each and every night. We may have a fan coming out of the corner. Oh, only two. Leo Burke is a classic wrestler. He's a defensive wrestler. You'll see him make a lot of moves. You don't win matches unless you go out there and take chances. And that's what he's doing tonight. And is it calculated? Yes. But as I said, he's a great defensive wrestler. And with all due respect to Mr. Mark Fleming for every move that he's got, I'm sure that Leo Burke is going to have something waiting. Oh, he took it there it is. for that knee. I think this match is history, Bob Cuddle. Yes, sir, when he came off of the ropes. Fleming came charging hard in the knee. A little added insurance. A great victory for Leo Burke. I offer my congratulations. You know, 